What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to be changing the oil in the 370Z. I know, not that exciting. It's regular maintenance, but regular maintenance is important. Um, oil changes are what allow your car to keep running efficiently and it prevents it from building up any excess friction and causing it to uh, kind of shred itself to bits. So uh, uh, changing your oil at regular intervals is very important. On this particular vehicle, they recommend oil changes every 7,500 miles or uh, every six months. That's going to vary, of course, if you're driving something different. Just make sure you check your owner's manual so you know how often you should be changing your oil. But I'm going to walk you guys through the steps on how to change the oil in this vehicle. Uh, so let's get started. For this oil change, we are going to need something to put the oil in. I'm trying this thing out in here. I just bought it from the auto parts store. Uh, it's kind of like an oil catch pan and a container all built in one. So the oil is supposed to, be able to just kind of pour on here and then this drain plug is supposed to allow the oil to go into the container. So it'll be interesting to see how this works. You are also going to need a funnel to be able to pour the oil uh, into the engine whenever we're refilling it. You're going to need a jack or something else to get you up in the air. Uh, I'm just going to use this floor jack that I happen to have. You can also use uh, ramps uh, or you can use the jack in the car. I wouldn't recommend that. The jack's supposed to be only for emergencies, but uh, if that's all you have, it's all you have. I'm also going to be using some jack stands to hold the car up in the air safely. Um, and I'm also going to go ahead and get all four corners of the car up because I'm planning on doing the brakes today as well. Of course, what's an oil change without the oil? Uh, the 370Z specifically takes the 5W30 oil. Uh, it's going to be different for other vehicles though, so make sure you check your owner's manual. Uh, it takes a little over 5 quarts, so I've gone ahead and gotten two containers. Uh, and then I can use the excess oil from the second container in my uh, other vehicle because uh, the center apparently takes uh, the same oil as well. And when you're changing your oil, it's also a good idea to go ahead and just go ahead and replace the uh, oil filter. Uh, these things are pretty cheap. You can pick them up for anywhere from like five to 10 bucks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and change that while we're in there. And though it's not strictly necessary, it's nice to have some latex gloves or nitro gloves in this case. Um, just something to kind of keep the oil off your fingers when you guys are uh, undoing the drain plug. You will also need a couple of basic tools here. I've got a flathead. This is for taking off some of the clips. And then here's a 10 millimeter socket, which we're gonna use uh, to take off some of the bolts that hold on the uh, splash guard on the bottom. Also going to want a 14 millimeter socket and a fairly large socket wrench to be able to break the drain plug loose. And with all of our materials gathered, let's go ahead and get the car jacked up. Now before jacking the car up, you want to make sure you set your uh, parking brake by pulling this lever all the way up so that way the rear wheels can't move, um, especially if you're only going to jack the front end up like we're planning on doing today. Now on the 370Z the splash guard gets in the way of the drain plug so you have to remove it. You need to start off by taking off a bunch of 10 millimeter uh, bolts that are kind of lining the outside of the splash guard. And then there's also three plastic clips in the center that you'll need to undo as well. And just to show you guys in some better light because I know it was kind of dark down there. Um, here's what that uh, under shroud, uh, that splash guard looks like. Um, you're going to have these metal bolts kind of look like this that are kind of just going around the perimeter here. I think you got um, something like 16 of these holes that are going to be around the outside. So you just need to take these off with that 10 millimeter. And then here's that plastic clip that I was talking about. Um, you can see here that Nissan has these like little grooves in them that you can stick a flathead in to kind of pop this tab up. And there's three of these that are kind of holding on to the center here. So you just need to pop those out and then this whole thing should just come out. Now, if your engine was just running recently, you want to be very careful because this is still going to be a little warm, even hot, in fact, and you don't want to burn yourself. So if, it, if you just recently ran the engine, give it some time to cool down. Um, this black thing right here, that's your oil pan where all the oil kind of seeps into when the engine's off. Um, this little thing right here, this nut, that is your drain plug. We will remove this to drain all the oil here in a second. And then this white canister you see right here, that is your oil filter, and we'll be replacing this as well. All right, so next step, we're gonna to need to go ahead and pop the hood. And then if you look right here, this is our oil filler cap. We're gonna to need to take this off so that way we can allow air to get into the system so when we drain it, the oil can actually flow out freely. Now, unfortunately, the engine is still quite warm, hot in fact, and I don't want to start draining the oil until it is cooled. So before you guys start draining your oil, make sure that your engine is not hot anymore. Otherwise, you could burn your fingers in the next step, okay? So we're gonna wait about 30 minutes for the engine to cool, and then we'll get back to it. 
Alrighty guys, now it's about 45 minutes later. The engine has cooled sufficiently so we can go ahead and get on with changing the oil. Now, this little guy right here, this is your uh, fuel filler cap. You're gonna need to remove this. Just go ahead and twist counterclockwise. And then you can take that off. And we're doing this right now so that way we can allow air to get into the engine here when we start draining our oil. That way the oil can run freely. So yeah, go ahead and just take that cap off and set it aside for now. All right guys, so the next step is to go ahead and drain the oil. Again, you don't wanna do this until the engine is cool enough to where it's not gonna burn you or anything. Uh, so we need to take our 14 millimeter and we're gonna place it on the drain plug here and we're gonna go ahead and loosen this bolt. Uh, make sure you place your oil catch pan below it so that when the oil starts draining out, it's gonna fall into the pan and not onto your floor. Now the way this catch pan works that I'm using, it actually has, if you can see here, it has this little hole that all the oil is going to drip into, so it just flows into the container. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this bolt just until it is finger loose, and then I'm going to slowly loosen it up so I can let the oil drain slowly. And we are slowly loosening this until the oil starts to seep. There we go. Yeah, so much for draining it slowly. Uh, at this point, you just need to wait a few minutes for the oil to drain before you remove the filter. All right, now this next part can be a little tricky to do if you're just doing it with your hands, but we need to get the oil filter removed. Now, um, I usually just hand tighten these as much as I can. Um, however, the technicians at Nissan probably use the uh, tool and it's gonna be pretty difficult to get off, most likely. I'm gonna see if I can remove this with my hands. Um, if not, we're going to need to go get the tool to remove the oil filter. So let's see if we can just go ahead and get this off here. You're going to need to get a firm grip around it. And actually, this thing is starting to turn, so it looks like we should be able to get it off. But yeah, you just need to make sure you get a firm grip on the filter, and then twist that counterclockwise. And even though most of the oil is drained out now, um, this is still going to pour a little bit, so make sure you get your pan underneath it, just to make sure. All right, and now that we have the old filter and the drain plug removed and all the oil's been drained, we need to go ahead and put the drain plug back into the oil pan. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And you wanna make sure to torque the drain plug back down tight enough so that way none of the oil can seep out. Okay, that is the drain plug reinstalled. And now, let me go grab the uh, new filter that we got. All right, and here is our new oil filter. Before we put this on, it's important to get a little bit of oil around here on the rubber seal. That helps kind of seal it and prevent any oil from leaking out. Um, you can usually just take some oil on your finger and sort of rub it around the rim, but what I usually do is I just kind of dab it in a bit of the old oil inside the pan. Get some nice bit of coverage there. And then we need to go ahead and now install that. And you want to just make sure you get that on there as tight as you possibly can. With your hand, I actually took the glove off so I can get as much kind of traction on as possible. But yeah, get this thing as hand tight as you can. And that's usually sufficient, at least for what I do. Um, you can get the little tool to make sure you tighten it a little bit more. But uh, I usually just hand tighten it to make it easier to get it on and off. Um, Okay, so that's the filter replaced, and that's our drain plug put back in. Now it's time to go back to the top of the car and we gotta pour in our new oil. All right, now that we are back on top of the vehicle, it is time to go ahead and start pouring in the new oil. Remember that this was the oil filler here that we just took the cap off. So we wanna stick our funnel inside there, so that way it's easier to pour the oil in. And then of course you want to go ahead and grab your oil. Now, this car takes a little over five quarts from what I understand. I'm only gonna pour in about four of them to start with, and then I'm gonna check my oil levels as I go, because I don't wanna put too much oil in, and I don't wanna put too little. So I'm gonna start off by pouring in about four. And you wanna do this kind of slowly. You don't want your funnel to overfill, and it takes some time for that oil to seep in. Okay, 
Okay. Again, not seeing any leaks, so that's good. Looks like we got the filter and the uh, drain plug on time now. Now, here's your oil dipstick. I've already gone ahead and cleaned this with a paper towel. You wanna get any of that excess oil off. The way we're gonna check our oil is if you see, you see these two holes right here in the dipstick, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that our oil level is gonna be between those two holes. And we wanna check the oil level using the side that has these bumps because those bumps prevent any oil from kind of being dragged up or down on here and giving us a false reading. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and stick that back in. Stick it all the way in. And then if you guys can see there, I don't know if you can see it, but our oil level seems to be falling right between the two holes. Just to show you guys in a better light here, it's difficult to see, but that oil level falls between the low and the high mark, which is exactly where we want it. So since our oil level is good, you can just go ahead and put that back in, make sure it is on there tightly. When you hear the click, that means it's in. Okay, and once you got that dipstick uh, squared away and you got it twisted so it's tight, uh, we can then remove our funnel here. You wanna be very careful about this, just to make sure you don't drip any oil where you don't want it. And then of course, don't forget to put your uh, oil filler cap back on here. Make sure you get that on tight. All right guys, that's how we change the oil on your 370Z. Um, and you wanna make sure you keep an eye on that oil level over the next week or so. You wanna make sure that know that oil is draining out. So just check it for the next week or so to make sure that everything's tight and all the oil is staying actually in the engine. Um, also with that old oil that we drained out, you don't wanna just throw that away because that's technically illegal in a lot of places. Um, you should take that to either an auto parts store or an auto shop, somewhere where they'll dispose of it. Uh, and if you guys have any comments or questions on what we did today, just leave a comment down in the description below. I'm always looking for ways to improve, so if you see if I did something wrong, please let me know and I'll correct it. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.